Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I made a video. I have a business that I run. It, you know, sometimes stuff can be kind of crazy and I have to deal with it. It's been like a month since I made a video. I was trying to make a video every week, but really it's like, I'll make a video when it's worth it. And I know I can give you good quality and I know it's going to be a good video. So today we're going to do top five, in my opinion, ranked artificial intelligence programs that you can run to use your own open source models in Windows. Usually this channel is about Linux uh, because I like to kind of lean towards running open source AI on open source operating systems. You can do open source AI in Windows and there are several programs that do it and that's advancing along so I'd like to make a video about it. If you're a Windows user and watching this and you're curious about Linux and running AI, you can watch my other videos too. Check out my channel. If you're a Windows user and you subscribe, you're not typically going to see Windows content, but you'll still learn some new avenues and I recommend it. If you're not familiar, Linux is privacy and freedom from big brother, corporate, dot-com, imperialist companies like Microsoft and Apple. It's made by a community of developers who just want to make an awesome operating system that is not connected to corporate. So let's move on, we'll do the top five. The first program we're going to explore today is Freedom GPT. They have their own open source llama based AI chat system and this can run on a local server. They have a website where you can use their system online, but it's free if you do it from your own computer. The downside is it only works off of your CPU. Even if you have a good GPU, this doesn't use that. It only uses CPU. You have to click start local server click over here where it says edge models and then download their Liberty edge model. It's going to by default put it in the same folder where the program is. Once you have the model downloaded, you're going to come back here and click start local server and it's going to start up and now we can chat with Liberty edge. Be careful because this one's uncensored. What is the average distance from the earth to the sun? A little slow. We're going to be waiting here for a second. If you ask long questions, it's going to be this slow and it gives really long answers. So that's why I'm ranking this one at number five. It only runs off of CPU and it's slow. They were one of the first to put out an open source uncensored model, so I'll give them credit for that. But there's really better systems than this to run in Windows. Next up, I don't have an example to show you because the next up is Microsoft Copilot. You can use Copilot on their website. They're gradually rolling out Copilot to different computers as they go along in groups and in sections. You would see a little multicolored icon in the lower right corner of your Windows 10 or Windows 11 if Copilot is available for you built into Windows. None of my Windows computers have had it rolled out, so I really don't even have an example of how it's built into the system. But I'm ranking that one at number four because you know Microsoft wants to enhance the native AI that's built in. They're phasing out Cortana. If you're a Halo fan, I know that's a little sensitive of a subject, but Copilot will eventually be rolled out all into all Windows 10. And if you want to try Copilot just to see how it is, you can go on Microsoft's website and go to Copilot Chat. Next up is Olama, which I've made videos about how to run Olama in Linux, and it's pretty straightforward and easy installation. So let's see how easy the installation is made to be for Windows. I'll have links to all these in the description if you want to play around with them. This is not one of my usual in-depth step-by-step tutorial videos. We're just going over the basics of what you can do in Windows. And it's already detected we're in Windows. We're going to download the preview for Windows and see how it goes. You'll see it in the lower right corner. I have to move myself out of the way. Sorry. It says Olama is running. So you open Windows PowerShell, then you type in Olama to run it. If you try to run a model that you don't have, it will automatically install it. You know, Olama has, for example, Mistral 7B. And you can go on their website, and you can click Models, and you can see which ones are available. So let's say I want to install Mistral, I would type in Olama Run Mistral. So now that we got it downloaded, and it's running, let's see how it goes. What is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun? And there we go. Give a little bit of extra detail. I'm always impressed by how for a 7B model, Mistral can give some detail. Gives a little bit of extra context. It's kind of cool. I'm ranking this one at number three because it downloads and installs quick. This is pretty clean. It runs pretty quick. 
I don't remember. Does the Windows version recognize GPU? I know the Linux version does. Okay, it says it right here. Olama on Windows includes built-in GPU acceleration. So yeah, it recognized my RTX 3080. Next up is GPT for all. The first thing is Windows Defender wants us to explicitly allow it. I trust them. They're reputable. I've used their stuff before. Sometimes Windows Defender is a little overprotective, so we'll click more info and then run anyway. I like to opt out of the usage and you know anonymous statistics thing. First thing it's gonna do is open up this window to ask you which language model you want to download. Uh, it has access to ChatGPT through the API, but since our channel here is mostly about open source AI, we're gonna use Mistral again as an example. It's a pretty small one and downloads quickly. And if you look carefully in this corner, it's gonna tell you how much RAM is required and how much RAM you have. You can show more models and if some of them won't run and it doesn't have enough your system doesn't have enough power it'll basically tell you so there we go give it a minute and let it download now that that's downloaded we can close out this window whatever models you have installed in here you can pull this down and it'll show all of them in this case I only have one which is Mistral Instruct and anytime you want to download more you just click over here where it says download more so load up Mistral Instruct we'll ask it my baseline question what is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun? And there it is, pretty quick. Now, I'm ranking this one at number two because even though this only does processing off of the CPU, this has a really clean interface and it's just easy to navigate through. You don't have to be like a command line, you know, expert. And the fact that it's CPU only can actually benefit people who don't have a GPU. I'm not even putting that down in terms of the use. I'm only saying like, if you got a GPU, you can run bigger models, the output comes out faster. But that does not mean that CPU based is bad. It's good if you're doing simple stuff and if you happen to not have a GPU. That being said, this one's ranked at number two because of ease of use and the really nice interface they have is just so clean. Coming in at number one is LM Studio. So we're gonna download this for Windows. All right, so it's giving us a little news update. They got Google's new Gemma 2B and 7B in there. I haven't really tested Gemma 2B, but it looks interesting. This section down here shows you what models that you're downloading now. What's cool about LM Studio is they've connected their system to Hugging Face, which is the big website full of repositories with lots of open source AI models. So this one gives you a lot of access to a lot of language models and it's really cool. In this case, you can search for models you want. And it even has some like uh, basic ones in here. Like here's the Mistral 7B Instruct and you can hit download. You can also search for things in here. So like let's say you wanted to find an uncensored language model, you could type uncensored in there. You'll just have to kind of be careful about which model you're downloading versus how much power you have. But that's kind of why there's such a big deal about 7B models and you can have a really powerful model with 7 billion instructions because that doesn't require a supercomputer cluster to run. You can do it from home on 7B. I have an RTX 3080. I can get 13B to run on that. And slowly I can get 30B to run on that. Just so you know, LM Studio defaults to CPU power. But we're going to get into that a little bit more later. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you a little trick. If you click on the left side over here, it's going to bring us to the chat. It'll ask, I can close this down for a minute. We can go here and it's going to ask which model to load. All the models that you've downloaded are going to be listed here. We will click Mistral 7B Instruct and it's going to load it. It's going to show your RAM and CPU usage in the upper left corner, which I like and is another very positive feature about this. If you look on the right side, you have all these different options available to you. Now under here where it says GPU acceleration, if you have a GPU, you can click on this GPU offload here and you can select how much power to put in. You have to play around with a little bit based on what GPU you have. So we'll set this to, I don't know, eight for right now and see how that goes. That's a very important setting if you have a video card because even though these are CPU based language models, it'll try to offload it or at least part of the processing to the video card. Let's ask it our favorite question. 
what is the average distance instance distance from the earth to the sun looks like it's reloading the model since I have changed the GPU settings which makes sense I mean you can keep chatting with it in LM studio so you can ask you know how long would it take to get to the earth from the sun traveling at a speed of 13,000 miles per hour sorry people in Europe with your kilometers there I know we're behind the rest of the world so <laughs> there you have it LM studio is number one if you get a chance to play around with these and you have any opinions about it feel free to post in the comments if there's anything you think that I can do to improve the videos go ahead and give me some constructive feedback I'm a relatively newish youtuber but I really want to make this work well, thanks for watching I appreciate you taking your time I know there's a lot of AI content in this very fast-growing space I appreciate you taking the time for mine if you subscribe we're gonna you know keep doing this on a regular basis if you're a Windows user you want to learn more about running AI in Linux subscribe if you're a Linux user, you want to see all kinds of cool stuff that I've been playing around with and figuring out for doing your own AI in Linux, go ahead and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day, and I'll see you guys later.